we're going to clear some shit up today. Some volume shit, some candle shit, some misconceptions, stuff like that. So sit back, relax, and learn something over this video. Make sure you drop a like, though, because these things, they do take a bit of time to, to make and uh, then edit and then put up. So today we're talking candles that kind of mislead you. The first one we have here, uh, example number one, is it's a red candle but it has high volume and a long lower wick. So you can see the wicks, there's a high, uh, there's an upper wick, it's decently long, but the longer one is that lower wick. So what this tells us from a volume price action analysis perspective is the high volume occurred and it basically showed us that there was a heavy battle here. We can, we can use it as an interruption of the trend. So we had a trend that was a downtrend. We have an interruption here, high volume, showing that buyers stepped up with high volume and they're starting to push back. So that leads me to believe that, you know, maybe we're gonna see a little bit of a bounce coming up here because buyers are finally stepping up with that high volume. So even though that candle is red, buyers are showing their strength by stepping up. And so it's not a bearish candle. It is a bit of a bullish candle. Example two here, this is a fat green candle, but it's on low volume here. So a lot of times you'll hear people think, you know, the most bullish candle is a big green candle. If it's on low volume, then we have a completely, completely different story. There is such thing as a low volume melt up, but that's for a different video. Usually here is if you have a breakout on low volume, which is essentially what this is, this little trend began and then it broke out to new highs on low volume. What that tells us is that the bulls haven't had to work very hard and also they don't really have, it's not a show of strength. We want them to show their strength if they're going to break out. We want them to break out with high volume, show us that they have buyers on that bid there, show us that they have you know more buying power in their back pocket. This doesn't show us anything. So for me, regardless of how large that green candle is, the volume doesn't match up. So this thing is not that bullish of a candle. If it had high volume, it'd be a perfectly bullish and great candle. If you guys have any questions on this, make sure that you reply to this tweet with them or DM me or whatever it is. But thanks for watching uh, and have a good rest of your night.